Ladies and gentlemen, let me now present my official speech for the opening of this conference. We have a record participation. Over 1,600 people have registered for this conference. It's the highest number ever for a development conference. The number of VVIPs is equally higher than ever. And the participants, the among the registered uh, uh, delegates as well, is higher than ever. It's no surprise to me because what we decide here and define here over the next two weeks will shape not just the future of ICT development over the next four-year period, but the future shape of the very world we live in. In today's fast-moving ICT sector, four years is a very long time. To see how that really is, let's look back to 2010, when we last held the WTDC in Hyderabad, India. Since then, the ICT landscape has changed in extraordinary and unexpected way. We have seen the number of fixed line subscriptions continuing to fall. And there are now over 82 million fewer fixed line subscriptions than there were at the beginning of 2010. This fall in fixed line has been massively more than compensated by the mobile growth over the past period. With net additions of almost 2.2 billion mobile subscriptions since the beginning of 2010. At the great, and the great news for this conference is that almost all of this growth has been in the developing world, which accounted for 90% of the net additions, very close to 2 billion new mobile cellular subscriptions. The same pattern is true of the growth in internet users, where 817 million of the 1 billion new internet users came from the developing world. We have also seen social media continue to skyrocket. When we met in Hyderabad four years ago, there were around 30 million users of Twitter and 400 million users of Facebook. Today, hundreds of millions of tweets are sent every day, and Facebook has over 1.2 billion users. Does that mean our job is finished? Of course not. And that's why we are all here. While over the three quarters of people in the developed world now have access to the internet, more than two thirds of the people in the developing world still do not. In the developed world, fixed and mobile broadband penetration rates are at the beginning of 2014, at the beginning of 2015, stood at 227.2 and 74.8 percent, respectively. In the developing world, they stood at 6.1 and 19.8 percent. Distinguished guests, distinguished delegates. These are powerful numbers, but they are also the, the demonstration of the extraordinary opportunities that lie ahead of us. ICTs, and in particular broadband networks, offer perhaps the greatest opportunity we have ever had to make rapid and profound advances in global and social economic development. This is tremendous as it is timely as we approach the cups, the cusps between the MDGs, the Million on Development Goals next year, and the beginning of the post-2015 development process. And this is, of course, why broadband for sustainable development has been chosen as a theme for WTDC this year. Like you, I'm convinced that by extending access to broadband, countries will quickly accelerate sustainable social and economic development. By delivering efficiencies across so many areas, from education and healthcare to transportation, water and energy, 
broadband networks can quickly pay for themselves, creating a virtuous circle of investment, productivity, and human development. The, the, to help the world leaders see the way that broadband can accelerate the achievement of the MDGs, ITU and UNESCO launched the Broadband Commission for Digital Development in 2010, just a few weeks before we last met in Hyderabad. In this context, and in the context of this conference, it is especially gratifying to see broadband access growing so rapidly in the developing world with penetration in the developing world in terms of mobile broadband growing an incredible 50% uh, uh, between the beginning of 2013 and the beginning of 2014. Ladies and gentlemen, as you all know, I'm an optimist and I have tremendous faith that the public and private sectors will work together to invest in and to roll out the necessary infrastructure. They did this so well in the creation of mobile cellular networks in the developing world, and I expect to see the pattern to continue for broadband. I am also convinced that in partnership, they will also help create the necessary services that people need, and that they will quickly see enriched content developed develop and created, and that will start off a new versus cycle in stimulating demand. As this happens, and we'll rapidly, we will rapidly see broadband reach the remotest corners of our planet, we must make sure that we do not just bring broadband to the people, but that we do so responsibly that we preserve cyber peace and deliver cyber security in a world that is always connected and always online. Distinguished delegates, the output of this conference will be fed into the I2 strategic plan, which will be endorsed by the I2 Plenipotentiary Conference in Busan, Korea, in October this year. And I hope that many of you will be there to help shape our future as an organization and to make sure that we adopt a sound strategic and financial plan for the next four years to come. So over the next two weeks, let's dream and dream big. Let's think about how technological advances might shape the future. Let's think about what can be done with massive increases in computational, uh, computational power and ever cheaper memory. Let's think about what we can do with the cloud to make the world a better place. And let's think about how we can ever put ever smarter, more, ever more affordable smarter smartphones to use across the developing world. And let's be bold. Let's work together to develop the programs and projects that will ensure ICT really do deliver a better quality of life for all the world's people. And I must say, and I said this this morning at the heads of delegation meeting, I have a very good feeling about all this. I can feel the positive vibration in this room, the positive minds that are converging in this room together. So I have no doubt that together over the coming two weeks, will help to shape the ICT world to make this planet a better world. I thank you very much.